in the previous classes uh, we have discussed about uh, identifiers okay then we have discussed about variables now we, we are in the discussion of operators okay but we have already completed arithmetic operators and we have done beautiful exercises also then we have we went to how to install anaconda software okay now now today i wanted to continue with uh, uh, other operators uh, such as uh, uh, after arithmetic operators we have six more operators are there today i wanted to continue them so i want everyone should have notebook and pen with you and today we are going to solve some problems okay i want everyone should have notebook and pen with you can you please have because we are going to solve some problems with this small note shall i start i hope everyone is uh, following me i want everyone should have a notebook and pen because we are going to solve some mathematical applications clear now uh, the second kind of operators are called as relational are also called as comparison operations now look at here what is the meaning of compare i have one expression at left side expression one i have another expression at right side expression two okay now i wanted to compare these two expressions okay if both are same if both are same the output is true else else means if left, left hand side expression and right hand side expression are not same then it is going to return false clear and so true and false is called as a boolean in python is it okay so shall i start my discussion i hope this point is clear for everyone here i am taking expression one at left side and expression two at right side i want to compare both left side and right side expressions if they are same i wanted to print true if they are not same yes i wanted to print false this is about uh, relational operations also called as comparison operations okay na? now look at here use it to compare the values of either side then decide what is the relationship among them the return type is either true or false now python supports operators such as double equal to operator and uh, not equal to operator not equal to can be written either exclamatory equal to or less than greater than okay now then greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to i hope if you if you say okay i'll go for some numerical examples shall i go now look at here let us discuss about these examples now one is less than two i hope everyone is uh, will answer this question true yes okay na? one is less than one is less than two and sweta please yeah it is true then uh, before going to here let me discuss one more point and now basically true will be represented as one okay one or greater than one both now false will be represented as zero okay while solving these examples you should keep that uh, true will be represented as one or greater than one also will be treated as that true now zero means false now can you please tell me here two is greater than or equal to one true and uh, two double equal to 2.0 it is also true now 2.0 not equal to 2.0 it is false okay now now whenever we are doing such kind of things here i have parenthesis so this will be executed first two is less than three is true okay true will be represented as one so one double equal to one is it true yeah then can you please answer me one double equal to two is false okay now false will be represented as zero zero is less than three can you please tell me the answer is it true or false zero is less than three true earlier sweta you have given wrong answer okay please i hope these are clear for everyone shall i erase kindly please take running notes and now uh, shall i go to next kind of operations now can you please answer these questions one by one what is the output of 0.1 plus 0.2 double equal to 0 
most of the people will say that uh, it is true okay but uh, it is wrong okay once again i'm responding this question they asked for more number of technical examinations whatever i'm discussing here all these are asked in either cts cognizant or tcs or infosys such kind of examples okay i'm collecting them i'm discussing in the class i hope can you please respond 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 to double equal to 0 0.3 okay now let me demonstrate this yeah i'll explain yeah it is my responsibility to explain yeah okay just give me one more minute in the next slide i have given a beautiful knowledge about it now look at here actually if I print a 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, it is going to return false. Why? Because, okay, look at here. Actually, actually 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 will be represented as this one, okay? Like this one. But 0 0.3 will be 0 0.3. So, can I equate the 0 0.3 double equal to 0 0.3 not, 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 not 4? They are not same. So, this is false. The reason is, now let me discuss about the reason for two minutes okay but uh, it may not understandable for the beginning people but uh, try to understand okay please now there are two kinds of numbers in python okay na? one is a integer number and next one is a float number there are two numbers first one is integer second one is a float number okay now integer data types are stored as a whole numbers okay integer data types are stored as whole numbers while float data types are stored as fractional numbers also called as real numbers okay dot after some number we'll put dot then some digits now very small or very large numbers are usually stored in scientific notations okay according to ieee 754 standard according to ieee 754 standard any float number any float number that means uh, some number one two three point five zero okay this is real number also called as float it will be represented with uh, 64 bits okay now look at here the first bit is called a sign bit means is it a positive or negative okay next 11 bits are used for exponent bits next to 52 bits are used for mantissa okay so look at here my 0 0.1 will be represented like this because it is a positive numbers are represented zero negative numbers are represented as one in the same bit okay once again i'm repeating because 0 0.1 is positive the first bit is zero for example if i take minus 0 0.1 the first bit will be negative i hope it is clear 0 0.2 will be stored like this now if i add 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 i'm getting this way so is it uh, double equal to 0 0.3 can you please respond it is no so can i say that the answer is false i hope yeah now like this uh, i will tell you 15 to 20 examples whatever they are asking in the technical examinations okay now shall i go ahead i hope it is clear for everyone yeah just a minute let me go back to the previous slide first let me erase ending I don't know why it is not erasing. Yeah, just a minute, please. Just a minute. Yeah. Now, can you please answer me the second question? This you know. Okay. Please answer me. Now, if I want to answer me this question, what is the output of the following statement? One double equal to two is less than three. Now, first we have to solve this expression. Okay. Two is less than three. True, na? True or false? and uh, you cannot discuss like this okay while taking this kind of expressions you should follow such kind of things different things okay can you please tell me what is the life now if i want to answer this question i need to go to this slide two to three slides forward now look at here carefully ending you are going to find some a new kind of thing look at here can you please tell me now uh here i have less than less than and greater than and uh, here i have equal to symbols which is having highest precedence can you please respond less than less than 
greater than greater than are having highest precedence than the equal to so first of all you have to follow this one now while solving this question always you should be take care of associativity now let's look at here double equal to is having highest precedence so first of all this expression will be evaluated is it okay one double equal to is false okay so false will be represented as zero zero is less than three so the answer is the answer is true now can you please answer this question now i have parenthesis here here i don't have parenthesis so we use this operation here whenever the first and foremost thing is parenthesis will be evaluated two is less than three is true true will be represented one one double equal to one is true okay na? now can you please answer me this question this you already know okay this we already know just we have completed now so i hope uh, uh, comparison operations are good for everyone now let me let me uh, erase it now now the next kind of operations are called as uh, assignment operations okay what is the meaning of assignment operations while well, they declaring like this okay here equal to operate is called as assignment okay in assignment what i am doing the value 5 i am assigning to a variable this is called as right to left now look at here what are the operations we have equal to plus equal to minus equal to like this we have some operation now let me discuss uh, how they will be executed now now if you understand this first example what will happen first of all right side expression will be evaluated so 2 plus 3 will become 5 the 5 will be assigned to a that's what i have given here in regular assignment what will happen the right hand will be evaluated first okay before assigning the value to the left side is it okay don't think that two will be assigned to a it will not happen first of all right side expression will be evaluated the result will be stored in the variable a this is note number one what is the note number two now this can be written as a equal to a plus three for example if i take a equal to 10 now what is the value of here 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 will be stored here yes very good what will happen here left side side will be evaluated first now what is the value of a will be taken before evaluating to the right side so can you please tell me the answers now i'll ask some questions now today we'll we'll discuss some beautiful examples right now can you please answer me now a will get 21 b will get 10 and c will get 0 once again i'm repeating now what is my value of a a will be 21 b will be 10 and c will be 0 what is my expression can you please tell me now what is the c value c equal to 21 plus 31 now how this will be evaluated c equal to c plus a c value is 31 now a value will be 21 now what is the value currently 52 sorry i'm Swetha, please 52 okay now 31 plus 21 is 52 now can you please tell me how this will be evaluated c equal to c multiplied by a c will be 52 multiplied by a is 21 this will be a bigger number so i cannot tell as it is i hope it is clear for everyone hello can you please respond yeah just give me one minute now everyone kindly please open your notebooks now i'm going to discuss about a new thing that may not uh, known to most of the people in the class okay please now the next kind of operations are called as uh, logical operations now what is the purpose of logical operations i have some expressions expression one expression two and expression three expression three if i want to join two or more expressions okay now this expression will be joined with this expression and this expression will be joined with this expression for this purpose we will use logical operations look at here use it to join two or more conditions or expressions here we are using concept called and or not let me discuss a beautiful mathematical example a b and operation or operation not operation first let me discuss when both uh, a and b are false because zero zero mean false na and operation will be false now 
when look at here it returns true if both the operands are true now both are one the answer is one here okay now when a is 0 and b is 1 or uh, a is 1 b is 0 the answer will be 0 is it okay can you please note down this table once again repeat and when both a and b are true look at here when both a and b are true the answer is true in all other cases the answer is false is it okay returns true if the both operands are true yes false Okay, I hope it is clear for everyone. Shall I go for R operation? Shall I go for R operation? Please listen carefully. Now, R operation will be returns true if either of the operands are true. Here, look at here. This will be true. This will be true. And this will be true. Okay. And uh, this is zero. If any one is true, Amma. Okay. R means if any one is true, the result is true. Okay. Na? Now. Not operation means when my input is 0, output is 1. When my input is 1, output is 0. Is it okay? Clear? Now, can you please take this table? Then I'll discuss some examples. Can you, everyone, can you please take a, a table and uh, Once it's completed, say yes to me. Okay. Then I'll go to discuss beautiful examples. Uh, shall I erase? Yeah, I'm erasing and I hope everyone noted down. Yeah. Now, let us do some examples. Now, let me take uh, a pen. Yeah. Uh, five is less than three. False. Okay. Then, five is less than 33. Yes, true. False and true. False. Okay, look at here. The end operation means both should be true. Then only it will be true. Then look at here. I have not of false. Then final answer is true. Once again, look at here carefully. First of all, this expression is false. And this expression is true. False and true is false. Here I have not of false. Not operation. This is true. This is it okay? So the answer is A. I hope it is clear for everyone. Shall I go to next one? Now, uh, look at here. This is one expression and this is another expression. Now, this expression, can you please tell me? 23 is greater than or equal to 23. True. Or 5 not equal to 5. Okay. When, if 1 is true, by default, the answer is true. No need to check the second one. So the answer is true. Is it okay? I hope it is clear. Now, if I give an example, can you solve it? Any questions? Now, can you please solve this example? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope it is clear for everyone. Can you please solve this example? This example, please. Now, uh, shall I explain or will you solve it? Now, look at here. A mod 4, 50 divided by 4 and 12, so 4 is our 48. The remainder is 2. Okay, now because mod I'm using, I should get remainder. 2 means uh, true, na? anything greater than 1 will be true. This will be true. And 50 is greater than 0. This is also true. True and true. The answer is true. Clear? For this, for this, the answer is true. Okay, now everyone will say okay. Now, can I solve this? 50 mod 4 is true. Or 50 greater than 0, it is also true. Then, true or true is true. Here, not of true. So, the answer is false. I hope it is clear for everyone. Any queries, Sunday? Shall I erase? Now, shall I go for the next operation? I hope everyone is good with the logical operators. Now, I wanted to discuss a, a different topic, but is difficult to understand. Uh, so, I want uh, uh, everyone should spend a couple of uh, minutes to with me. Okay, please. Otherwise, you cannot understand this next concept, bitwise operators. For example, whenever you go for any technical examination, first of all, they will ask this question. 
what are bitwise operators okay it is the most important for interview purpose those who are going for python python programmer python programmer okay you definitely you will get these questions in the tests so next to i will take 15 minutes minimum 15 minutes to discuss about this topic okay now shall i go now now computers understands computers understands only zeros and ones this we will call it as binary okay binary notation normally we are going to work with the decimal notation okay normally the people will work with the decimal notations but uh, look at here bitwise operators acts on in binary digit format bit by bit so you should know how to convert a binary format into decimal format okay now how i am converting binary format to decimal and decimal format to binary format that everyone should know about it now python supports uh, the six kinds of bitwise operators and the most important topic of today's session is discussion is bitwise operator i'll i'll spend minimum 15 to 20 minutes shall i go ahead now everyone kindly please take running notes now now and operation is this is called as bitwise and this is uh, called as pipe operation bitwise are pipe this symbol is called as pipe normally this is like written like this this is called as tilde operation tilde called bitwise not operation this is called as a bitwise xr operation okay right shift and left shift operation so first of all let me tell you how to convert a decimal data into binary first let us discuss it okay now binary data means will be represented as a 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 and so on 2 power n okay now in simple terminology this is also written as 1 2 4 8 16 and so on okay are you getting me now you now can i solve some problems in this notation if i want to represent a binary data now how i will be written now let me erase it and go to the next slide to discuss some examples yeah listen carefully now and operation if both inputs are one then only the output is one else zero r operation is true when either of the input is one else the output is zero now let me discuss about this end operation and operation means if both are one then only the output is one okay now bitwise and operation can be written as ampersand okay now how the r operation will be written if either of the operand is one the answer is one here look at here either of the operand is one the answer is one here i hope and r both are clear for everyone okay now i'm going for what is xr operation xr is a new operation for even in both inputs are zero zero or one one the answer is zero this is about xr operation when the inputs are one zero or zero one the answer is one look at here if both the inputs are same the output is zero else the output is one i hope this is clear for everyone once again i'm repeating if both the inputs are zero zero or one one the answer is zero when any one is uh, opposite then the answer is one so can you please tell me the answer for this xr operation here these two are same so the answer is zero these two are different so the answer is one these three are same so the answer is zeros this is different so the answer is one is it okay i hope uh, these three operations are clear for everyone what is and operation r operation and xr operation okay now yeah now the fourth operation is called as a bitwise not operation okay in order to write in the technical examination you can use direct formula not of x is equal to minus x minus one now let me discuss with some beautiful examples in the next slide okay shall i continue and i'll take another beautiful example Sandy. okay now please now let me uh let me uh clear this just one minute and please one minute one minute i'm not uh, i'm erasing everything and please this may be the last class topic is uh, uh, it is overlapping with me i remove this and i'll discuss once again definitely i'll discuss once once again at each and every point please yeah now let me sh shall we solve these examples yeah now look at here 
a comma b equal to 4 comma 5 these are in the form of decimal decimal format but i need to convert them into binary how i'm converting 1 2 4 8 look at here how 4 will be converted 0 1 0 0 this is called as 4 this is called as binary of 4 is it okay now how to convert 5 5 means 4 plus 1 is 5 so let us make this as 1 and this as 1 so these two are zeros now what is end operation tell me end operation when both are true the answer is 1 remaining are zeros 0 1 0 0 once again the answer is 4 here the answer is 4 here now can you please tell me the answer for r operation this is 1 0 this is 1 0 0 1 0 1 so the answer is 5 here i hope it is clear for everyone yeah now can you please tell me xr operation between them xr operation these two are zeros so the answer is zero these two are ones the answer is zero these two are zeros the answer is zero these two are zero and different so the answer is one here xr operation between four comma five equal to one i hope it is clear andy i will wait for one minute please if you have any queries please ask me andy please any queries please stop my discussion and ask n number of times i will be very happy to answer so shall i continue i am erasing yeah so can you explain yes i will i'm explaining and please i'm explaining once again yeah look at here actually four comma five are in the form of decimal okay so i need to convert the decimal into binary how to convert decimal into binary you have to, you should write like this one two four eight okay now now if i want to write decimal for four how i have to return how i have to write zero one zero zero okay now how i have to write five four plus one 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 zero zero so what is and operation and means both should be one this is one remaining all are zeros what is r operation either of the input is one look at here either of the input is one the answer is one here zero one zero what is r operation r operation means if the inputs are different the answer is one this is r operation is it okay the remaining all are zeros i hope it is clear for everyone these three operations can you please respond yeah now how to calculate not on not operation minus x minus one the formula is minus four minus one the answer is minus five is it okay how to write not operation the formula is minus x minus one so wherever x is there i am replacing with four the, my answer is minus five okay can you please respond if it is clear i will erase it and i'll go for fifth and sixth operations of bits bitwise operators okay now shall i continue yeah just a minute let me go back for two minutes yeah now we have two other operations called uh, bitwise left shift most important and definitely wherever you go in the technical examination they will ask uh, at least one question in the shift left and one question in the shift right in the tech any company exam without this there will be no exam okay so kindly listen it carefully okay shall i continue Now, let me go to the examples directly how to use uh, bitwise operations left shift and right shift now let me take uh, seven okay how seven will be converted and anyway, anyone tell me one two four eight four plus two six six plus one one okay one 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 zero this is called as seven okay now this is seven i hope it is clear for everyone now i'm asking right shift of one bit what is the meaning of right shift of one bit you shift this bit to right outside and you shift this bit to here now this will become one you shift this bit to here you shift this bit to here you shift this bit to here and this is left over wherever this is blank you keep it as zero so zero zero one one the answer for right shift of one is three okay now can you please do a right shift of two tell me the answer these two bits come out these two bits will come out and uh, these two bits will become zero one 
and uh, the leftover two bits will become zero zero so the answer is one okay right shift of two is equal to the answer is one. yeah i hope it is clear for everyone or shall i discuss once again once again sir yes please yes today we are going once more okay once more sir yeah let me take please amma stop your discussion please everyone unmute yourself please now i am discussing for your purpose please now the please and me mute the yeah seven will be represented as 1 2 4 8 okay now 1 1 1 0 this is called as binary 7 okay na now here i am asking a right shift of 1 a means 7 i wanted to shift right shift to 1 this one will be outside this one will zero this one will come here this one will come here this zero will come here this will be blank na so add zero 0 0 1 1 what is the answer What is the answer? So the answer is three. Now, now a right shift of two. How to do? I need to move these two bits to outside. So what will happen? These two bits will go out. Now this zero one will come here, and uh, these two bits will become zero zero. So the answer is one. Clear? can you please note down this and then i'll go for left shift operation just take one minute and uh, take them please if a shift to right three means which one and once again Uh, a equal to seven. A same yeah, one. A equal to seven. Uh, a shift to three. Yeah, I have not done. I will do na. I have not done right. When I do this one, one, a right shift of three, what will happen? Now, these three bits will become outside. All will be become zero. So the answer is zero. Is it okay? Okay. Now, right side it has to move. Yes, yes. Because it is okay. a right shift, we should move this position. Okay. Now, shall we go for a left shift of one and a left shift of two, a left shift of three? Shall we go? Now, zero triple one. Shall I go for first of all a left shift of one? So the answer is this zero will come out and these three ones will be here. Right side one will become blank na at zero. Now triple one zero. How much it is? One two four eight. Eight plus four twelve. Twelve plus two four. Uh, twelve plus two fourteen. Eight plus four twelve. Twelve plus two fourteen. Fourteen plus one is fifteen. Is it okay? So it is fourteen na. One two four eight. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is zero. You cannot convert. Eight plus four twelve. Twelve plus two fourteen. That's it. Is it okay? Now, so shall we go for a left shift of two? Can you please tell me zero triple one? What will happen? I should shift these two bits to outside. Now, these two ones will come here. These two zeros will be added. So double one double zero. The answer is eight plus four is twelve. Is it okay? Okay. Why we now? Yeah. Uh, I hope it is now. Shall we discuss them simple way instead of not doing such kind of things? I'll di I'll discuss some formulas and please in the technical examination directly you can write the answer. Shall I go now? Can you please note down these formulas? I'm I'm discussing the new formulas. Look at here. Whenever we are using the right shift, you should use a divided by to the power b. And whenever we are using left shift, a multiply two to the power b. Okay, na? Now, if I take uh, a equal to seven, okay, and uh, 
shall i make it as a left shift of one a left shift of two how to do this first of all shall we do this now here a will be a will be seven seven multiply two to the power one is equal to 14 direct answer now a left shift of two will be written as a multiply two square two square equal to seven multiplied by four equal to 28 is it okay hello hello yes, sir. can you now yes, sir. whenever i whenever i do right shift operation what is happening seven divided by two power zero okay now seven divided by two power one so seven divided by two means uh, three twos are six the remainder is one so the answer is three here now seven divided by two square seven divided by four seven four one four is four it is one got it is it simple way instead of going in that way it is better to use this formula for uh, right shift as well as for left shift i have done a small mistake uh, i will con uh, uh, shall i go back to next slide andy uh, I, I will explain what is the drawback i have discussed shall i go now just give me one minute i have done a small mistake uh, here andy please a now let me discuss it what is the small mistake i have done i'll tell you a left shift of two how it will be done one two four eight a means one 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 zero okay now now what i am doing here i am shifting this data to be two bits left okay this zero will come out and this one will come out is it okay then these two ones are coming here and the two zeros will be added because look at here one two four eight sixteen now the total is 16 plus 8 plus 4 that's it it is 28 clear if it is zero no need to calculate if it is one you must add them one two eight sixteen then 32 then 64 now the answer is clear for you this is the mistake i have done earlier and okay now hello yeah so uh, i will send this ppt to you can you please practice the next examples i will send this ppt uh, you just practice them okay now so if you permit me i'll go for uh, next operations yeah yeah shall we solve this example before leaving yeah can you please answer me how to solve this answer me yes double shift two right side my answer should be two and eight now if i make x as eight what will happen one two four eight means uh, one zero 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 if i make this right shift two what will happen these two zeros will go out and this is one zero is it okay now this is one two four eight this answer is two when eight equal to a when x equal to eight i will get answer two so the answer is eight clear and eight? Everyone, is it okay? Yeah. Now, can you please solve this example? Last example. Yeah. Can you please solve this example? What is the answer? Simple answer. Minus x minus 1. Minus 100 minus 1. So, minus 101. This one. Is it okay? This is a direct technical question they asked in several Infosys examples. Done? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, can we answer this one? four how to write four one two four eight four means zero one zero zero so next 12 how to write 12 here one one zero zero what is xr operation when the input is same the answer is zero 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 one so the answer is eight okay clear this is uh, it will take time to discuss this is it okay 
Hello? Yeah, now I hope everyone is good. So let, shall I go for next operations? So I will demonstrate all of them and once it is completed, okay? Now I'll take a Jupyter notebook in a few minutes and discuss all the examples. Now, the next most important concept is uh, membership operation. Without this, there is no, pro no program in Python. Okay, without this, there is no program in Python. Now, Python supports two operations, in and not in, not space in, okay? These two operations are called as membership operations, okay? They are used to check if a specific item is present in the sequence or collections. Now, I'll discuss uh, what are, there are four sequences, very, very important question in the interview. What are sequences, okay? In Python, there are uh, four sequences. One is range function. This will be the next class topic. Generates a sequence of numbers, sequence of numbers. Now, then string object, sequence of characters. Once again, I'm repeating, range function generates sequence of numbers like one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Sequence string means a group of characters. Next one is tuple or list. They store different data types, different data types. This is also called as heterogeneous elements heterogeneous elements okay now now apart from them we also have the concept of collections there are two collections we have in python first one is a dictionary dictionary second one is a set now now in operation look at here in operation returns true in operation returns true when I have elements either in the sequence or in the collection, if I don't have elements either in the sequence or collection, in operation return false. Is it okay? Now, in operation always returns either true or false. Is it okay? Now, shall I explain this small example about uh, uh, list operation? Yeah. Now, let me go for the Jupyter notebook. Just a minute. Let me go to Jupyter Notebook and demonstrate each and every example, whatever we have discussed till now. Okay. Everyone look at here. Either the screen is okay. Now let me run all these things a little bit faster and go to the last example. We have already discussed all these examples, Andy. Okay. So I'm lit I'm going a bit faster. So Andy. 1 plus 1, 0 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, double equal to 0 0.3. Okay. Uh, next discussion will come in the next, this, this topic will come next, next topic. Then we have also, also solved these examples. Okay. Then. And logical operations. This also we have solved them right now. Yeah. We have already completed them. Then. Uh, Bitwise operators, and operation gives four, operate R operation five, XR operation one, not of four, minus four, minus one is five. Then right shift of one, right shift of two, right shift of I'll make it as right shift of three also. It is zero. Okay now. Now left shift of one fourteen. Left shift of two twenty-eight. Got it? Clear? Till now we have done it. Then look at here membership operations. Now uh, I'm discussing simple example. I'm taking Harsha Technologies. Now this is called a string. String is a group of characters. Okay. Now I'm asking, look at here, tech, is it a part of this string? Tech is a substring. Is it a part of this substring? Please respond. Yes. Okay. Now, I will try to change a little bit code and please, I'll try to change a little bit code faster. Instead of using not, I will use uh, in operation. Okay, now look at here. Tech is a part of this, uh, so it is returning true. Now, I'm asking one more question. I have small tech here and uh, now tell me what is the answer. I'll tell you Python is case sensitive, case sensitive now tell me the answer yes 
because upper case is upper cat after upper letter is a is and lower these two are different so small t is not available here so this is written for false i'll ask one more question andy now does a three is a part of this list this is called as list one two three four five yes three is available here so returns true i'll ask one more question six is it a part of this no it is false six and a little bit so it is false and okay na? now now take not in yes it is exactly opposite to in so this is true or false take yes it is false now let me run them one of one by one look at here i hope uh, membership operations are okay for everyone okay so next important big thing for interview purpose are called as uh, identity operations that is the last operation now from next class onwards where next topic onwards we're going to start programming okay so shall i go ahead now uh, this is also very very important this question they will ask for interview purpose and not for technical examination they will ask this question for interview purpose please note down this topic is used for interview purpose previous three operators are used for technical question technical examination okay now please python supports two operations first one is is operation and second one is is not operation is it okay now now i have two memory locations i have two memory locations memory location one and uh, memory location two okay look at here these two operations are used to check if two variables are stored in the same memory location okay if i take two variables a b if these two a variables are located in the same memory location i am going to return true else false clear now you can ask one question sir what is a memory location okay memory location is a place where we are going to store variables okay now now you can ask one question sir how to identify how to identify a memory location identify memory location like i we have our house numbers every memory location in the ram will have identified with a number okay for that we will use a function called id id is a function which will give us a unique 16 digit id for every variable or memory location so instead of discussion theory shall we go for a real time one how to deal how to deal with identity operation this is very very important question and please now i am going a little bit uh, uh, jupyter notebook okay let me go for jupyter notebook i'll, I'll go very little bit slow and this is very very important for interview purpose please yeah look at here let me go a, a bit down i hope it is, is it visible for everyone now look at here x1 equal to 10 y1 equal to 20 now i am asking x1 is y1 this is false why because why because now look at here id of x1 is different from id of y1 is it okay look at here I, it is a 16 digit id and id is a function which will give a unique identifier for every variable if i make a 10 comma 10 now what is the answer look at here now if both the values are same now these ids for numbers are same so here id ending with 864 for x1 and for y1 is also same so the answer is true is it okay clear for everyone now this case will be false yeah yeah this case will be false for strings and please look at here now understand carefully s1 equal to data science s2 equal to data science now look at here it is going to return false because because id of s1 is different from id of s2 okay if id of s1 is same as s2 then only i'm going to return true else it is written false is it okay now I'll, I'll test one more example x3 and y3 now look at here false 
because x3 id is different from y3 id is it okay i hope it is clear for everyone what is the purpose of uh, uh, is operation and uh, not in operation not in is not operation now can you please tell me the result for this x2 is y2 because it is for the idea of x2 is different the idea of y2 is different so uh, with this now i wanted to stop the session and uh, next to 10 minutes we will have for questionnaire okay